Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, back in the Mobile Command Center. I hope you guys don't mind this uh, this type of video as this GoPro now with this mount on my windshield offers me the chance to continue putting out videos without having to steal time away from my day with my kids and stuff to get into the studio because that time you know has gotten a little more difficult so with that said um, some news out of Maine as it pertains to the push for gun control by the uh, ultra-liberal um, Michael Bloomberg who was the uh, former uh, mayor of New York City as you know he has uh, a ton of money he's a billionaire and he has been spending tens of millions of dollars almost I mean maybe even hundreds of millions but I know tens of millions of dollars across the country on uh, anti-gun movements in different states and um, to, this one is no different if you're not aware Bloomberg has uh, funded and, and founded every town for gun safety which is his go-to anytime some type of shooting happens you know every town is one of the one of the groups that show up and, and, and make a pitch at how it's the guns fault that some jackass pulled the trigger uh, without going on a soapbox he has funded and well backed a, uh, a ballot initiative that will be in front of Maine voters this fall which would require background checks for gun transfers between uh, unlicensed firearm dealers now what does that mean as everybody knows well and most people know if you ask Hillary Clinton she doesn't think there's a background check but when you buy a gun from a dealer from a, a, a gun dealer who has to be federally licensed they head they have to have an FFL and in order to have an FFL you got to do NICS checks which is the instant background check that's done on every firearms purchase that's been around it's not going anywhere even though certain liberals like to pretend it doesn't exist. But in the past, I know here in Massachusetts and apparently in Maine, some states will allow licensed gun owners to sell a gun to a licensed gun owner. And the premise behind that allowance for that sale is those people have already gone through background checks to get A, the gun, if purchased through FFL, and B, to get their permit, they already have gone through a background check. So as long as everything's functioning correctly, everything's already been checked. So the, the transaction between two parties is nothing major. But Bloomberg has given $3 million to uh, these two groups. Uh, the first one is Maine Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense. And the other one is Mainers for Responsible Gun Ownership. Those two groups have uh, joined, they've merged into one, it's called uh, Mainers for Responsible Gun Ownership, and they've already put like a one and a half million dollars of that three million dollars towards a uh, television ad buy. So if you're in Maine, you can, if you haven't started seeing them already, you're gonna get inundated with this uh, cockamamie BS that's backed by Michael Bloomberg and his anti-gun group. Use your brain, folks. Don't fall for the BS, don't be a sheep. They're trying to, no pun intended, trying to pull the wool over your eyes for something that already exists in order to further restrict and further limit one of your constitutional rights. So just, just pay attention to people in Maine. And for those of you not in Maine, this is happening all over the country. He's giving, group, giving groups tons of money to do the exact same thing. Uh, I can't report on all of them, but I'm trying. So if you know of one, let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe, please, if you like this information, and share it. Especially if you know somebody in Maine, because they probably don't know this yet. This is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Thank you for your time from the Mobile Command Center. Have a good day.